Geetu Mohandas, Rajiv's wife, an accomplished actor herself. This great campus of FLU, more vibrant, diverse and uh, inclusive. Now, uh, it's time for me to say a few words. I'm not uh, going to say so much uh, because it's already very late. Um, as we have already seen, the film uh, film is a thrilling, uh, thrilling entertainer uh, on the one hand, and it's also getting into several questions of uh, you know where people are, where uh, youth is right now, and um, I, I'm still not able to sort of try and say what this film is all about because you know it, it requires a lot of time. Uh, now that is the directorial venture of. Uh, Mr. Rajiv Ravi. And we also know him as, as someone who has been um, in the way in which these sort of films where he was involved in as a cameraman, as, as a director and now um, you know with, with the new film again uh, as a cameraman. Uh, what I see is that there is a very definite new cinema which is emerging in Indian cinema and, and and we are proud that, you know, Mr. Rajiv Ravi could uh, come to our campus and address us. Uh, I asked him already whether uh, he wants to make a speech. He said, uh, you know, it, it would be wonderful if we can participate and um, could also be multilingual. You know, you don't have to specifically feel uh, the pressure of the language, pressure of the father as it were. So I'll pass it on to uh, Mr. Rajiv uh, Really, very happy to see you all and uh, very happy to know that uh, you want to see us and talk to us. That's the best part of it. Uh, I can't like make a speech or anything, so if you can ask questions about the thing, you can, you can answer and you can go ahead like that. Sir, I felt that the movie was uh, something which we could have read in. We usually watch all these kinds of movies where we can predict what is going to happen next. So in this movie, we're like dumbstruck and we're like, what is going to happen next? And, and I, um, personally, I feel that I can relate this movie to myself or any person sitting over here. We are all in this same society. We see uh, injustice in front of us, but we can't react. And I see a person there reacting. I wanted to make a film on on uh, you, you, <laughs> the, the younger generation of us. Basically because I have this feeling that we generally have this tendency, we in sense the, your elders have this tendency of blaming you guys, saying that they are useless, you know, they, they don't read, they don't write, they, don't, they are like uh, workers, people are always on internet and playing games. You know. So uh, my point in this film is they are like this because of the elders, the elders who compromise you. There was a period in Kerala in the 90s where till then there was an sort of idealism around where we had somebody to look up to. We had, we had a hero or we had a big brother who was fighting for the right thing. So we used to follow him. We used to look up to him. So now when you look up, you don't have people like that. You don't have good leaders. You don't have anyone who can give you a certain kind of direction or tell you, yeah, this is good, this is right. You're left out. So I blame the elders. So I, I dedicate this film to you know, obviously you people who are who have uh, elders who have compromised and who have actually got corrupt and got into the prosperity thing more they lost all morale and all kind of things so this for you people thank you very much for the comments sir uh, i feel very happy thank you sir he used to assist me and now he's a independent cameraman so uh, see i'm basically a cinematographer i've been shooting films for years all more than uh, 17 years now so that comes like a like writing for you people. So I compare it like that way. Um, about Lias Days, Lias Days was shoot, shot on a very shoestring kind of budget where we uh, we were like 20 people going to Himachal and coming down to Delhi by road. 20 of us in 22 days we finished the film. Out. So uh, the best part of Oscar is we could make it there with such a small film. I don't, uh, I personally am not very uh, fond or I don't look up to Oscar that way because it's a completely an industry. But still, uh, Itu, not a new gender condition, but Itu being a woman and somebody from Kerala making it up there is always uh, Where people who live mundane, normal daily life get involved and engaged 
uh, engage with particular kind of violence with violence. So my question is, that a particular kind of thing has defined a lot of the movement all over the world. But what has you know, prompted you to keep this particular individual not as violent as some other personality or other protagonists? I want to see what happens if a uh, normal boy. And for me, his, uh, he's more, it's, just, it's a very personal thing for him. The violence happening to him is something else. It's just, he's, he's more bothered about his father. That is the thing I also want, I'm now almost trying to tell you. It's not the external, peripheral and whatever things happening in him. For him and for me, it was basically the internal thing. Him seeing his father as part of something which it will have you telling you that is wrong. So, for me that is, a, that is the internal thing. That I was trying to work on that more, on the, more than the other. So for me, uh, the, the, the guy becoming aggressive, I didn't see that person becoming aggressive or having any kind of violent. There were portions where we thought of doing it, but we decided not to do it. Okay. See, this film was produced by so, uh, yeah. Space. For us, Malayalis, Malus have their uh, place. So we, we, we can do stuff there. We have, it's a small place. So uh, we try to pitch this in the mainstream section. We made this film in a very uh, collective way. And uh, it was a production was very, not like a mainstream cinema. It was, yeah, offbeat in a sense, and then we pasted it in the mainstream area. Yeah. But uh, it didn't work. Box office, it was not a, like, a big commercial, it was not a success, but we pasted there. So we tried to get a alternate distribution network, yeah. like where we can make films like this and get it in the cycle and make money enough to make another film. So we're trying for that. That's our yeah. agenda. As a, um, as a viewer, one, one has the alienation that you have been providing. So was it intentional? Because it was also in that also we get ready in the first time. It was accidental. It was accidental. And Amir is one of my favorite, one of my best friends. Uh, and and I uh, I'm a fan of uh, I'm not a that's a wrong word. I believe in that kind of play when he comes to. So but this was accidental for sure. There's no doubt about it because I never thought I never know something changes because of something else. If it's good, it's good. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dayo. I want to ask you about the Indian cinema scene. Uh, which is something that struck me when I watched Anni in Rasulam also. Where it moves to a lot of people stuck to the photograph. So I was wondering why did you move into that photograph? And even in Anni in Rasulam, why was uh, journey from there because the death of Karna would have been powerful in itself, right? See, I've, I'm trying, I've been trying out like Malayali. So for me, if you notice this, after the death, the blow comes, then the female voice starts off the So for me, it was like a biopic. Somebody, we start saying the story of this boy. We come saying it and after that, somebody else is summing it up. So I, won't, I, won't, I, tried, I was trying that with the shift of the red being the negative. And I didn't want to end it at that point. I was trying to be a little more positive or trying to uh, get more emotion out of it. <laughs> but that was uh, very intentional. If it has worked, you know, would be uh, nice. You wouldn't like it or you would okay. You wouldn't like it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dave. See, when you um, when you're saying a story, I'm not. 
I am also not very sure of like narrating it and getting it right. You know, I'm not saying that I am. Uh, this is the way it has to be said. We are trying out certain things. So, yeah, uh, even the last portion was a conscious effort to give a tail kind of a thing. You know, like the blow, and then you see something else which goes into this childhood, and somebody else saying something. So, it might, might work. It might not. <laughs> Compose. Hello sir, my name is Sutra. I really love the movie. I don't know my question is very relevant or not, but I kind of noticed that throughout the movie there is a predominance of a lazy yellow. I mean the whole color palette of the uh, movie depends on yellow. Is that intentional and significant? See, uh, the reality of the movie, we shot without lights. <laughs> we didn't have any it lights. No, that was interesting because there was no money, so... <laughs> so, we, I bought a sodium vapor lamp. One lamp I bought that, that cost around 5,000 rupees or something. That is the only light which we had. So, that light actually gives a yellow, orange yellow glow. And I think that's uh, basically yellow lights in the cities are like kind of yellow, orange, red in the shadows. Yeah, the color palette um, came in like that. Hello, sir. This is Chandrani. Sir, so, um, even I... You must be aware of the case of uh, Salman who, uh, who was arrested because he did not stand up for the national anthem. And, uh, if I remember right, it's after the same movie. It's after the same movie screening that he was arrested. So there again we see someone who protested, or uh, uh, someone who, someone who, who, uh, someone who is victimized because he did not follow the uh, norm or he went against it. So, is this, is this also a reason for the commercial not so successful? I'm also actually trying to understand the reason for the commercial thing. <laughs> it's a... Uh, it might be. might be. That, that's a question which we should... What, what is making them uncomfortable? If they have seen it, what is making them uncomfortable? Is it the, uh, is it the kind of... This is what they are feeling after watching it? Why they don't like it? Yeah, that's a question I also have. And about Salman, yeah, that's something which we all of us have felt like doing like all over the place. In Bombay, every day, when you watch, when you watch a film, you hear this national anthem coming in. I don't feel like getting up. I don't feel like getting up. But I get up because of the social pressure. pressure you know, people around you are like probably good job. So, yeah, that's, a, uh, that's something which is there in everyone. And people don't do it because of things around you. Yeah, that's kind of paralyzing. I am Shrikant, I am from Kannu and the, uh, the other side is the violence that is usually what we call in Kerala is quotation, quotation thing. So, uh, means every time in both of both these movies, every time love fades and violence moves on. So, what was your intention actually? Uh, and uh, what, what is the reason behind uh, using this quotation P in your both of both these things? Something which is all around us. You know? How can you close your eyes to that? Yes, if you're living in a city, if you don't know the backyard or if you don't know what is happening actually around the, there, you cannot live in a elite like southeast bit world. How long will you do that? You will have to get down and you have to interact with people. Then you get to know the people who are into these kind of things and then you don't know what kind of people they are. So, uh, I don't think we can just ignore that. Even. They are also human beings, they, they also live life, they also have family. So, in, uh, see, when you are looking at a space time and people, characters, there, there might be, uh, yeah, there was a quotation kind of a scene in Anirosh room also, and here also you see that. But it's there, I can't.
Definitely, there is a lack of communication. For sure. My name is Dave, and uh, let me make this point really clear. I uh, like the movie. Can you ask something about the point that I did not like at all? I uh, what was the point of making that chase in, in which? Uh, the protagonist actually chases uh, or rather follows Hari practically through entire Pochi or whatever she did, I don't know about her so much. Uh, he, uh, it was something about 10 minutes or 15 minutes of uh, that uh, following scene in which he even so he, uh, he parking his uh, motorcycle we, uh, which we could have actually seen it uh, in one minute or so. So what was exactly the reason of uh, drawing that so long. Uh, I'm just asking who the most uncomfortable W was to buy. That's it. I don't know why I did that, but I did that. <laughs> I felt like doing it. That's probably, uh, you know, why probably because you have to sit and think. This is the time when you can sit and think. Otherwise, you know, you just see it in the flat. It's probably about the whole thing. Sit and think. That's what the realism is all about. And if there is an attempt to realism there. It definitely is about, you know, making you think. And as, as someone was saying, you know, Hari, for example, the name itself, for a bunch of people who have watched the other film, they just like something else. And the villain, uh, you know, he, he stands for something else. He comes from an earlier generation. So people are thinking. And that is deliberately done with the narrative, which is realistic. So that's probably something that we have to look for here in this book. Shambha has a question. My name is Rose. A couple of observations. Apart from uh, uh, one or two scenes, there is a sustained attempt at underplaying, I think. <laughs> Love is not the protagonist. Why? There's nothing larger than life or theatrical about his heroism. It's just in what any self-righteous young man would do or try to do. So I like uh, the underplaying in the movie. And second thing, uh, the quote that you displayed at the beginning, the Albert Camus quote, every act of rebellion is a reflection of an innocence. Oh, nostalgia for an innocence. So there are three generations in the movie. The grandpa is a silent spectator, nothing more than a silent spectator. And then you have the dad who has lived enough and seen enough to compromise. And the younger one, the protagonist, who is too young for either of this. Um, it's an innocence yet to be lost. So I like the way the court linked with the theme of the movie. Just these two words. I really liked your use of uh, this boy, P.P. I was telling a story, you come and pop somewhere and then do it and then like that's something you try and do in narrative stories. So it's easy to follow formulas and make it fast and begin this whole world again. But uh, when you're, you can you can draw the graph, you can try several graphs. So it was an effort. In fact, from the, both the movies, I just wanted to ask you about the titles. How will you give the titles? That is uh, Nan Steel Opus, that's the name of the protagonist, and then Anayim Rasulu, name of the protagonist. <coughs> I just wanted to know, how do you give the names of your family for the movie? Because uh, Anna came before, uh, so Anna and Rasu. And then Steve Lopez, I tried putting a Malayalam title for Anna, a proper title. It was quite very difficult actually. Something like, um, there's a, somebody came over the title and said, love you. So see that, it, sound, it, it is, uh, it comes in the right thing, but when, it, uh, when you're pitching it, it doesn't sound right. And then I thought it's kind of a biopic for me, it's a story of a boy. So I thought it would be like Nyan Steve It starts like Nyan Steve Lopez and ends with a girl telling the story. Director Ashika Bhu in his Facebook page had recommended that it's a shift from the so-called new generation cinema to a real cinema. So even after watching this movie, I found that like, it's highly realistic, especially the shots and everything. So sir, what do you have to comment? My book, uh, it was the separation between documentary and fiction. 
that has to come back to the world. You can see stories in the room and around you. So try and see that and try and tell that. I'll do for that. Not tell you. Uh, sir, one more comment. Like, in Anayi was this one. It was a highly impressive movie for me. And the one thing which impressed me the most was the, like, you made use of silence, like, towards the end. When Fahad comes, when we are, is that Andrea is one of those, which impressed me a lot. Yeah, okay. that's no straight like social message as I say, yeah, like, this is the message, nothing like that. Basically, I just want to have a feel, give a feel of uh, yeah, what are you doing? I can't define it, there, but it's a feel which, yeah, it's an emotion which I want to share with you. Then you are such a good one. Then his father is happy, the character of his father, but still you gain no emotions. Because he is the reality, right? There should be something, something should come to that. Then only we can, uh, in a full manner, like we can relate to the scene. So it's basically the emotion which has been coming to the expressions. There should be something. I'm sure you must, you must be doing girls like that, right? Uh, very... Yes, yeah, sir, there is two studio people. Studio people, okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Yeah. And then the other is Anjali also will like the uh, village. Yeah, that one I like. Like, the protagonist means they're looking specifically into hero and girl. Yeah, it's true. See, for me, Even I don't know. Even the mother I like, it was very real. Uh, the girl was not real. <laughs> I think the, uh, the reason is because I am not in touch with you. Maybe. Then you have to be different sort of women. Only then I will get to know the reason. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, it's really happened or you created that? Happened. I mean, it's also there. No. 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 Still, if you can decide to react and respond, 
studio that's kind of fun. Accept? Me? I don't accept violence. I know, uh, 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 you see, the thing is, uh, the, why I brought up the violence and the negative end is, uh, somebody, someone has triggered up the violence. There is a, there's a start that goes around, and there are victims around. So that's the point I want to be. Even the boy who is looking behind, he's also a victim, he's the same age. He's also the same age. He's also part of, the, he's also a victim. Yeah. So I, I, I hope, uh, Thank you very much. Maybe that, uh, we just have, we just hear a few uh, lines like, uh, why did you do that or why, why that guy was, something like that, but... Curse. That, I think that's the note I wanted to catch them. I didn't go into it like, in details. It might have happened, they must have stopped or whatever. It might have happened, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sincere gratitude to sir 